Eyewitness News is here at local election headquarters tonight. Ten Democratic presidential candidates will take the stage in Atlanta for their fifth primary debate. It comes as the campaign enters its final stretch before the crucial Iowa caucuses. Eyewitness News politics editor Ted Nisi joins us now in studio. Ted's been tracking this thing every step of the way. A lot of eyes on this tonight, Ted. First off, another big crowd of candidates. <laughs> I said it to you before, Mike, but I am glad I don't have to moderate these debates. It's just really hard to have a good exchange of views with 10 people trying to talk. But as you said, 10 of the Democrats qualified for tonight. Here's who you'll see from left to right on your screen. Cory Booker, Tulsi Gabbard, Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, Andrew Yang, and Tom Steyer. Now, all those candidates on stage tonight, Ted, they are not all in the same position at this point, right? No, I think, Mike, you, at this point, it does feel like we have four front runners in the race, and it almost depends which state you look at. You have Joe Biden. He continues to lead many polls. He has strong support, particularly among black voters, a crucial constituency, but he's weak in Iowa, so he needs to seem in command tonight. Elizabeth Warren, she's faltered after surging in the polls earlier this fall. She's faced a lot of criticism over her health care plan. She'll be looking to right the ship. Then Bernie Sanders, he continues to have some very passionate supporters, but he struggled to build off of that base, especially with Warren appealing to the left. And now you have South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg rising pretty rapidly in the polls, and that means he could be subject to more attacks on the stage tonight than he was before. Ted, do you think the impeachment hearings that we've been watching over the last week will affect the primary? I think it is, Mike, in the sense that usually the Democratic primary nomination would be the biggest story in the country in politics, but right now all eyes are on Washington and people aren't paying as much attention. So I think that could continue for weeks and weeks or even months. So I think that's going to be a dynamic to watch. And the Biden's name obviously has come up in those uh, hearings. How does that affect tonight? Absolutely. I think that's been, you've seen Biden's number fall down a little bit, but will any Democrat be willing to join President Trump in an attack on Joe Biden? I think that remains to be seen. All right, Ted, thank you very much. And the debate starts tonight at 9. We'll have highlights on Eyewitness News at 10 on Fox Providence and 11 right here on WPRI 12, plus a recap on WPRI.com.